I got into a band called Beat Happening, and that was in 87. And that, not only did I see women could play music, but I could see that just you could do it yourself, DIY. That's the first time I liked a punk band and just saw that anybody could play an instrument and you didn't have to be perfect. I could never be Andy Taylor. I could never be like the guitar player Duran Duran. And I realized it was okay. I could still be good. Then once I started going to shows in DC, I started to see that that there was a whole network of other people who were doing their own thing and that I could do it myself too. I didn't have to be like a huge star or famous or there wasn't a whole lot of stumbling blocks. Like I thought, okay, I could just never do this. I'll just never be that good. Then it started to, I started to realize I could do it myself. And so then Calvin Johnson had met Molly and Allison out here when they were living in Oregon together and he said, there's this girl in DC there's a, and I think I was kind of famous as this crazy obsessed Beat Happening fan. It was like it was like I was notorious. So he's like, if you're going to go home for spring break, because Molly's from D.C., if you're going to go home for spring break, you should you should meet this girl. You should play with her because she's playing guitar like all by herself. In her room. She had done a fan scene called Teenage Gang Dubs that I had seen and it was really cool. Like, I had just kind of heard about this mythical Aaron Smith character, <laughs> and um, so I was really excited to meet her. And just but you know I was playing it cool and I was like, well, I'll send you my fan scene. And she was like, okay. And she didn't think I would do it. And then I did, and she was like really excited. And then we became pen pals. <laughs> so Molly came home for, for spring break in, um, in, in the spring of 91 and, and brought Allison with her. And that's when we first jammed together. 